In the ever-evolving world of finance and investing, there are a few names as iconic as Warren Buffett. Now often referred to as the Oracle of Omaha, Buffett has amassed a fortune and an unmatched reputation for his investment process. Now one of Buffett's most celebrated strategies and one of my favorite is his affinity for dividend paying stocks. With a long-term value-oriented approach for investing, Buffett has consistently chosen companies that not only pay dividends but also possess the potential for long-term growth, which makes his portfolio absolutely stuffed with dividend growth names. Now in this video, we are going to dig into five different dividend growth names that are within Warren Buffett's portfolio. And best of yet, they are all on sale as of right now, or could be offering a massive amount of opportunity in some way, shape, or form. Now stick around, drop a like down below, and let's get into the first stock. Before we get into today's video, make sure to please hit the first link in my description to support my brand new Patreon to access things like my 31 page A to Z dividend investing ebook, access to my brand new custom dividend tracker to track all of your ongoing progress, to view my seven figure dividend portfolio, and so much more. I can't wait to see all of you guys inside. The first Warren Buffett stock that could be offering a great buying opportunity as of right now is Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. Now, Bank of America, according to Simply Safe Dividends, is on a 55 borderline safe as far as dividend safety goes, but is offering a 3.64% starting forward dividend yield, which as you can see right here is much higher than what we've seen over the past five years. Now, with Bank of America trading at around $26.40 per share, a 9.1% dividend growth. Bank of America could be offering a massive buying opportunity if and when the market finally turns for the better. Now year to date, Bank of America has been absolutely hammered down around 21% year to date. But for the investors out there that want some exposure to some of the bigger banks and want to lock in a nice decent starting dividend yield, BAC is definitely a Warren Buffett stock to look into. The next Warren Buffett stock that's actually in my portfolio and one of my favorites that's on sale as of right now is UPS or United Parcel Service. Now UPS is a 69 on the safety score, which means that UPS's dividend should be relatively safe. With the way that UPS is trading at around $139 per share as of right now, it's offering around a 4.64% starting forward dividend yield, and best of yet has 6.6% dividend growth, which is not all that bad. Now I personally bought some UPS stock a while back in 2020 when it was actually down below $100 per share and I've held on to it all the way through all the ups and downs which is honestly pretty crazy to think that not all that long ago UPS was trading at over $210 per share. But now with UPS trading at nearly half that and very close to the 52 week range low at $133.68 per share. UPS could be offering a massive buying opportunity not only in the context of locking a nice starting dividend yield but also some massive growth potential ahead. The next Warren Buffett dividend growth stock that's on sale as of right now and is one of my favorites is ticker symbol V or Visa. Now Visa is a 99 on the safety score as far as the dividend goes, which means unless something crazy happens, the dividend is not going anywhere. Visa is trading at around $238 as of right now and is yielding just under 0.9%. But even with Visa's relatively low starting dividend yield, we're talking a 16% dividend growth rate. And looking a little bit closer into Visa's dividend growth, it is honestly something out of this world. Just around 10 years ago, Visa was paying around, say, 40 cents on a yearly basis from dividends, and now pretty close to $2 per share. So even with that low starting dividend yield, Visa does have, of course, a massive growth potential. Not to mention, Visa is most likely going to pay you more and more and more as the years go on. Now, Visa stock always comes across my radar as it gets closer and closer to, say, $200 per share. And as of right now, it is trading towards the higher end of the 52 week range, but, but still for the investors out there that do have a long time frame ahead of them, could be a decent amount of opportunity and is definitely one of my favorite Warren Buffett stocks. The next Warren Buffett stock that's also somewhat on sale right now is Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO. Now Coca-Cola is currently trading around $56 per share, is offering a 3.26% starting forward dividend yield, and has a decent amount of dividend growth at around a 4.5% dividend growth rate. Now, Coca-Cola is down around 10% year to date, so it has seen some pain and is still trading towards the lower end of the 52 week range. And even though Coca-Cola was trading a little bit cheaper a few weeks back, it still could be offering a decent buying opportunity, especially for the investors out there that like dividends and like dividend growth, because look at this absolutely beautiful chart. You can see Coca-Cola's raise their dividends every single year over the last several, several years. Now, the last and final Warren Buffett stock that's possibly offering a massive buying opportunity as of right now is J&J or Johnson & Johnson. Now, Johnson & Johnson trading the $140 per share range has came across my radar as I think I own some shares of J&J in the 130s. Now, Johnson & Johnson with trading the way it is is offering a 3.2% starting forward dividend yield, which isn't all that great, not all that bad though, but with a 99 dividend safety score, this dividend is not going anywhere anytime soon. 
Now Johnson & Johnson, just like some of the others, does have some decent dividend growth, 5.3% dividend growth rate, which once again isn't the best, but isn't the worst. Now Johnson & Johnson, along with a lot of these other quote unquote dividend growth names, names like, has also had a rough year day performance, down almost 17% on the share price. And with J&J trading pretty much close to the 52 week range low, Johnson & Johnson is definitely worth being on your radar as of right now, if you consider yourself a dividend growth investor, and want to lock in a decent starting yield. Now, a few more Warren Buffett bonus stocks you guys should definitely look into. Look into LA Financial, which is offering around a 4.94% starting dividend yield and a 50 on the dividend safety score. Citigroup, also another pretty popular bank stock, 5.35% starting dividend yield. It's kind of crazy seeing all these super high quality names yielding so high with the way the market's been trading now. A few more Warren Buffett names that could possibly be undervalued are names like Occidental Petroleum, even names like Leonard Home, HP, Jeffries Financials, and others. But now I want to hear from you guys down below out of all the stocks we went through in today's video, which is your absolute favorite name? If you had to choose one, drop it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like in it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.